GQI is a single query language and API that allows you to query, filter and aggregate any of the vast amounts of data in your data lake. It works with any type of data. Of course, GQI lets you do column manipulations to create new columns based on existing ones. This is how it works. Here we are, again, on one of my data miner low-code apps. This is a small list of HR people fetched as object manager instances. For each one, we want to automatically generate a username and display it in a new column. For this, we add a column manipulation operator. When you use this operator, you can choose either of two available manipulation methods concatenate or regex. We'll use concatenate. Next, we select the existing columns that we want to use. We want to create a username containing the first and last name. Now, we can specify the format, for example, hr prefix followed by the first name and then the last name. This syntax lets you specify the position and order of the first and last name in the username string. Finally, name the resulting column, in this case, username. And as you can see, the table now contains a username column with automatically generated usernames following the format we specify. If you choose the regex match method, your new column will only contain the items from the selected column that match the regular expression. For example, imagine we want to validate their phone numbers against a specific format, like 334 digits separated by hyphens. You can continue chaining column manipulations within the same query to achieve this. So, we are going to use regex to match the phone number column with the specified format, which will place only valid numbers in a new column named contact number. Now, we can proceed to fine-tune the query further, for example, to ignore unmatched rows by filtering on empty values. We can do this again using regex. And finally, omit the original phone number column. Let's go for another example. This table lists events and their respective start and end time. But we'd like to simplify this table to show only the day of the event. As before, we add a regex column manipulation. Select the event start time as the column we want to match. And use an expression that trims out the hour component and place the resulting string in a new column named day. From here, you can simply do away with start and end time. And there you go. Want to learn more? Visit our Open Dojo community to find more information about GQI as well as anything and everything ICT, media and broadband. See you there!